What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the channel. This is the RTH Podcast, man. I'm your host, Nephew, and I'm checking in, man. So I guess I got to be the first to say it, bro, um, because it seems like these casual fans don't really know a lot about what's going on right now. Now, I, I know everybody looking for a replacement uh, opponent for Terrence Crawford, and uh, can I say I disagree with Jerron Boots in this being that guy no okay just just get that out there right no i cannot say i disagree with the number one guy under the number two guys um in the division um getting the opportunity at undisputed i can't i can't hold y'all on that right but is it a big enough, enough payday for terrence crawford no it's not um it's in the notion of jerron is getting this shot is the ibf championship goal number one no it's not now it was number one for Errol Spence Jr. because that's the first championship belt that he won. All right, so yeah, Boost was was supposed to be contender for Errol Spence Jr. Now we can talk about all of the other antics that took place in this scenario, but again, bro, I'm, I'm just gonna leave Errol alone until he can get healthy, bro, and get back into a, a right mental mindset. Saying that to say he's not the number one contender. For Terrence Crawford. He's not, bruh. That would either be the WBO championship goal or the WBC championship goal. Because if you guys go back and, and check um, the resume of Errol Spence last, he was supposed to see Keith Thurman, who holds the WBC championship goal. So technically, the IBF had dibs on uh, Errol Spence, but so did the WBC, and uh, Keith Thurman was supposed to be that gentleman. All right, so saying that to say, Jerron Boost Ennis is at least two fights back. At least two, right? Now with Errol, he would have been number one contender technically, because Errol was adamant and not wanting to fight Keith Thurman. But in this scenario, he's two fights back. Errol Spence Jr. getting his rematch, and then if Bud was to stay at 147, then it would have to be Keith Thurman first, all right? It would just have to go that way. Or the winner of Keith Thurman and your Dennis Ugas, they're supposed to see each other this year. And I don't know if that's still on schedule or not because it's not showing up in the schedules. But I did see reports that say that Keith Thurman versus your Dennis Ugas was supposed to be going down uh, by the end of the summer. Saying that to say, though, all right? Just clearing it all up. This is the obvious fight, bro. This one right here. This is the obvious fight. Tim Zoo versus Jerron Boost. And this is the obvious fight, bro. And it's, if you really want to get that smoke with Terrence Crawford, if you really want to get that smoke with Errol Spence, you already know where they're going, bro. Let me ask y'all a question. Those of you who ever played the video game GTA, all right, GTA 5, if you ever played that game, I'm going to ask you guys a question. Or if you ain't never played that game, all right, we're going to talk about real life. If a person was in a high-speed chase versus the police, all right, this is a, a, a person who might have did a crime. The police got behind him. They started chasing him. What are the cops are going to do? Are they going to just chase behind him? Or are they going to start setting up those roadblocks? Right? They're going to try to get ahead of you. They're going to try to go all the way up the road ahead of you. They're going to try to try to uh, predict where you're going. And they're going to set up a roadblock. And usually, they'll, they'll have somebody ride in front of you on the road. Make sure it's a one-way. Have a van go all the way up the road and then slide them spikes out bah, to try to bust the tires. You see what I'm saying? Just so they can slow you down so they can catch you. And that same notion, if we playing that same uh, logic, excuse me, Jerron Ennis should just go up to 154. He should, bro. What's, what's the possibility of Jerron Ennis getting undisputed at 147 right now? Y'all think campaigning for him to see Terrence Crawford is going to be where it's at? It's not, y'all. It's not. Both of these gentlemen right now are in line for Undisputed. One's being avoided, and we can kind of say that Jerron Ennis was avoided as well. I'm not taking nothing from Boots, bro. We can kind of say that he was avoided as well. Errol Spence Jr. was not supposed to see Terrence Cropper, bro. He was out too long, bro. He wasn't supposed to see him. I'm not giving him no excuses, but he wasn't supposed to see him, bro. He should have he should have took a tune-up. You should have took a tune up and, and y'all keep avoiding the obvious, coming up with all these excuses and da da da. He uh Bud got glove gates now, uh 
Bud, uh, Drain. Bro, they both was dehydrated. I don't know what y'all talking about. Oh, Terrence Crawford was uh, a natural 147, and then Errol Spence was the one who, who was weight drained. No, they both was weight drained, bro. They both was half of themselves in that fight. Both of them, bro. Both of them, bro. If y'all don't believe me, go back to that week and, and look up Terrence Crawford uh, dehydrated. Go look up, just look up any video that says Terrence Crawford is dehydrated. You can see them black marks under his eyes. He was too, bro. So at the end of the day, saying that to say, man, this is the obvious fight. Tim Zhu versus Jerron Ennis. I know PBC or Showtime not going to even try to do this fight. Well, they should because both of these guys are with the PBC. I think Jerron is with Showtime, but same difference, right? It's the same company. Um, they both there, bro. This is a fight that can happen. Boost will have to go up seven more pounds, but it's, that's nothing. That just mean, bro, you ain't got to uh, uh, stop worrying about training and just, you know, do more punching and more swinging in the gym, more sparring, do more jump ropes and stuff like that. You ain't really got to worry about draining yourself and trying to make the weight. You see what I'm saying? And then, two, you get dibs on uh, J- Jamel Charlo if you get this dub. That's what Terrence Crawford going anyways, bro. He going up there to 154. If you want to see Errol Spence, he going up there too. Why well, sit back and then here's the thing. Terrence Crawford, if he wins uh, this next fight with Errol, because I'm thinking they're going to do it. But if they don't, I had a, I had a replacement fighter. But if they, if, if they do it, right? That's the last fight he have at 147. So he can throw the belts in the air. Nigel Run, you got to go scrap and get them all. And they're not going to put you in a fight where you get to fight one person and get undisputed. Which means you got to have four, maybe five, maybe six fights. That depends, right? That depends on if people not being a prima donna. You're like, oh, no, he got to do just have four fights. No, he don't. You know how many men don't want to fight the next best guy? You know how many men just don't want to fight the next best guy, bro? They are stalled in negotiations. They'll come up with 25%. Y'all seen what Devin did. They'll come up with 30%. Y'all seen what uh, 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 Tyson Fury did. They'll low ball. You see what Deontay Wilder did to Andrew Ruiz. So I ain't making it up, bro. So yeah, he had to go six, seven more fights. Bro, I'm ready to see Boots at the show. I'm ready to see him at the show. If we we can look at him and say he's that good of a fighter, I'm not taking it away from Boots, bro. I'm not, bro. But at the end of the day, bro, it's only one option, bro. Tim Zhu, bro. That's the only option we got, bro. Tim Zhu. Yeah, he can go fight Stanley Yonis. Let me tell y'all the, 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 the real thing about Stanley Yonis, bro. He been sick. He been sick. Uh, Virgil Ortiz been sick. Virgil Ortiz got injured. Stanley Yonis got injured. It's a, it, it, He got a lot going on right now. Booster going there. He'll beat him up more than likely. Maybe not, though. Because, bro, Montez Stanley Yonis can punch. So I'm not going to take it from Boost if he do take the Stanley Yonis fight. I ain't going to take it from him, bro. Because Stanley Yonis can fight, bro. And he can hit hard. So I'm not going to take it from Boost if he were to take this fight and try to stay at 147. But come on, Boost. If you really want to be at the show, bro, you got to take on Tim Zoo, bro. And Tim Zoo going to take it. He going to take this fight. Yes, he is, bro. He's going to. Man, Tim Zoo has been giving out fights all year like candy. And he don't have a worthy opponent right now. He don't, bro. Jamel Charlo don't want to fight him. And nobody at 154 is man enough to call him out. No offense to you guys, bro. No offense to anybody at 154 that I just said that to, bro. But y'all not calling him out, bro. And and here's the craziest thing. Tim Zoo has a, 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 a somewhat of a, a troll that follows him around all the time. His name is Michael Zephra. That's his troll, bro. Michael Zephra just don't like Tim Zoo. And he still ain't talking about fighting. He talk about everything else, bro. He talk about him making t-shirts. He talk about uh, his, his fandom. He talk about he ain't that good of a fighter. He can talk about everything that he want to say about Tim Zoo. But when anybody talking about him taking the test, when anybody talking about him signing the contract, what's his price to get in the ring with Tim Zoo? He shut the hell up. Now, here's the thing. I think Boots can beat him. I think Boots can beat him, bro. But I also think Tim Zoo can beat Jerron Ennis. I'm not lying, bro. I'm not lying. Now, here's the thing. Jamel Charlo tied up with Canelo Alvarez. He's going to come back down in one fight. If you beat Tim Zoo, because Tim Zoo believes, here's the thing. Tim Zoo believes that the WBO will strip Jamel Charlo after the Canelo fight. 
right? So whether he win or whether he beats, I mean, win or lose uh, versus Canelo Alvarez, uh, he's going to get stripped of that WBO title because they tired of waiting on him to fight Tim Zoo, right? So if that's the case, Jerron, if you can get him in the ring right now and get dibs on that belt, bruh, and be like, if you beat him, because I'm not going to say you're going to win, but if you, if you, if you could beat him, right? And then you get dibs on that WBO championship, but then that's undisputed versus Jamel Charlo. And you beat, right? Because you would beat out Terrence Crawford and get in that fight. You would beat him out. And I think you can beat Jamel Charlo. I ain't lying. So if you really want that mega fight with uh, Terrence Crawford that you're looking for, undisputed versus undisputed, all you got to do is fight two men, Jerron. Rather than going the long way around trying to fight Stanley Onis, and then Stanley Onis is going to, then now you got Conor Ben is back. Conor Ben is back, bro. Now he can't fight in the BBB of C just yet. They waiting to get their, their, their voting in to see if they're going to let him fight in, in the UK. But he can fight in America now. Yeah, UCAD has already uh let him go. So he can fight in America now. So here's the thing. If he can fight in America, bro, then he's going to be in the rankings real soon. They're going to put him right back in the rankings. Conor Ben at welterweight, he's going to be right back into the rankings. So why have to go through Conor Ben, then go through a standing on this? I'm pretty sure Rashidi Ellis might just get back into the talks real soon because he ain't that bad of a fighter, bro. So he might be back into the talks. Um, Virgil Ortiz says he's gone now, but you still got Cody Crowley. That's a lot of, man, that's, that's, that's what, three other guys I just called? Cody Crowley, um, Conor Ben, um, Amante Stanionis, and then whether Errol Spence or Terrence Crawford win the next fight, they still going to throw the belts up in the air, bro. So you're going to be fighting for a bag and trying to get championship going. Now, they might elevate you to world champion, uh, at the IBF level, but they still give you three more championship belts you got to go get rather than having one fight, one tough fight versus somebody who is at your level as far as stardom is concerned, as far as notoriety is concerned, as far as uh, a sizable opponent is concerned. This is not a high-risk, low-reward fight, bro. This is not a high-risk, low-reward fight. It's a high-risk, high-reward fight for both of these men. And Tim Zhu going to sign that contract, Jerron. All you got to do is say you in, bro. He going to sign that contract, bro. Yes, he is, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. He been handing them out like candy all year. He didn't have to fight um, Tony Harris. He did not have to fight him, bro. He didn't. Jamel broke his hand. Tim Zhu said, okay, well, I'll fight the next best thing. Because Tony Harris was the man at the uh, the next man under Tim Zhu to get number one contender. So Tim Zhu was like, okay, I'll fight you then. Fight him, knock him out. Then the Ocampo fight, the only reason why the uh, Carlos Ocampo fight happened is because nobody at 154 want to fight Tim Zhu, bro. That's the only reason why that happened. The, the, the boxing commission, they had to implement some, some different stuff, some different rules just to get Ocampo in the ring. That's how hard it was for them to get him that fight, bro. I ain't lying to you, bro, because I do my research on this stuff, bro. This is the best fight. All of you casual fans trying to push boots in the ring with Terrence Crawford, that's cool. That's cool. It's cool. I ain't going to hold you. It's cool. It's a cool fight. I ain't hating on it. I think Jerron can go in there and try his best with Terrence Crawford. Can he win it? I don't know. I don't know, bro. I can't say he can't. I can't say he will. I don't know. It's a sizable fight that I, I didn't really see coming. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to hold you. Do I want to see Errol Spence versus Terrence Crawford again? Eh. I mean, if Errol want to try a shot again, I'm with it. I ain't going to say that he can't do it. I mean, I'm with it. But, you know, 154, y'all both going to be comfortable there. And, and if y'all both was uncomfortable on last Saturday, y'all both was uncomfortable last Saturday, man. But was uncomfortable, bro. Now, he might have hydrated just a little bit quicker than you. But, yeah, y'all both was uncomfortable, bro. Y'all both had a hard training count. Y'all both had them same nightmares about that fight. Y'all both had them same good feelings and bad feelings about that fight. He just was the one who rose to the occasion more so than what you did. Now, at 154, it could be more of the same. Or Errol Spence might, you know, bully him a little bit more if he can't get to him because he really couldn't get to him the last fight. So if it were to happen, I'm with it. If it don't happen, I'm with it as well. But if it don't happen, man, and y'all want Boost to be that guy, I mean... Y'all gonna ruin that man career before it even gets started. I'm not gonna say he gonna lose, though. I ain't gonna say he gonna lose. That's not what I'm saying. But if he does lose, like you dig what I'm saying? Here's the thing. If he loses to Tim Zoo, it ain't gonna do nothing. Tim Zoo like that, bro. 
he liked that. And then not to mention, it's it's kind of like Jerron Ennis moving up and, and, and just and just going for legacy. It's the same thing as Errol Spence. He was just going for legacy, bro. It was a big payday, but he was going for legacy. Jerron Ennis, Tim Zoo is definitely the fight, bro. It's the fight. And it can get Jerron Ennis dibs on two undisputed champions. One being Jamel Charlo, because whether Charlo beats Canelo or don't, He's still going to be undisputed. And it can get him dibs on at least intercepting the Terrence Crawford versus a Jamel Charlo fight next. You can intercept it by getting that WBO championship goal because it can't be undisputed. You dig what I'm saying? It can't be for undisputed because, like Tim Zoo saying, if uh, Charlo step into the ring versus Canelo, then the WBO is going to strip him that same night. Right after he step into the ring and had a fight, they're going to strip him when he get out the ring. So, he won't be undisputed no more. He won't. So, he will have to go and see Tim Zoo. So, if you can intercept that pass, bruh, intercept the, right before the WBO hand Tim Zoo that world championship title belt, if you can say, no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I'll put my bed in right here. I, I want this one. If you could do that and then beat him and take it, which I do, bruh, this gonna be, it's going to be a tough one, bro. This is going to be a tough fight, bruh. It's gonna be one. It's gonna be Spence and Crawford all over again, bro. Yeah, it will. But it's gonna be in its own little way. Cause here's the thing: Jerron Ennis has power, speed, and he has great ring presence, great defense. He know what he's doing in that ring. He know where he at. But Tim Zhu is a madman, bro. That dude a madman, and he hit hard, bro. And he got speed. Now he ain't got the best footwork, in my opinion. He don't got the best footwork to keep up with Jerron. I'm not gonna lie and say that, bro. But here's the thing: when Jerron stop, he better start moving again. Yeah, he better. He better start moving again. Cause especially getting tied up on them ropes, which is where Tim Zoo wants you at. Getting tied up on them ropes, you going to sleep, bro. No offense to Jerron. I'm just saying in general for any fighter. But yeah, you know what I mean, man. When you get when Tim Zoo get a person on the ropes, that's pretty much it. Go look at the Tony Harrison fight. Go look at the Ocampo didn't even make it through the first round, bro. But that's just my my time on this one, man. I think we all overlooking the obvious. Yeah, you can say that Terrence Crawford can go up to one fifty four and fight Tim Zoo, but you asking a man who has undisputed to take it to somebody else. Right, the same thing with Devin Haney and Shakur Stevenson. Shakur Stevenson ain't got nothing to offer Devin Haney, bro. He ain't got nothing to offer that man, bro. And y'all can sit here and say, nephew, yes, he do. He a better fighter. No, that don't matter, bro. If you come into the ring with a championship belt, that's why Haney want to go fight Pro Grayers. Yeah, Pro Grayers ain't got uh, undisputed, but he got a belt. He bringing something to the table. Yeah, that's the reason why Jamel Charlo didn't want to fight Tim Zhu. Because Tim Zhu ain't got no belt. But it's because Jamel Charlo got them all. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'd rather go fight Canelo because he got undisputed. He walks to the ring with championship belts. That gives me a reason to want to get up and go and fight and train. You see what I'm saying? So, it is what it is in the aspect. So, right now, this is the best fight. Both of these guys have interim titles. They both do. One's the IBF interim champion. The other one's the WBO interim champion. Let's make it happen, bro. Let's make it happen. Let's stop pretending like it's time for these two gentlemen to be seeing the undisputed fight. It is time for them to see the undisputed fight. I ain't going to hold y'all, but it's not time for them to just get it handed to him. No. No, now, Tim Zhu has earned his shot. He has earned it, but Jamel Charlo said, hey, let me go fight Canelo. Then that means he ain't earned it just yet. And with uh, Errol Spence Jr., not er Errol Spence Jr., um, uh, Jerron Ennis wanting to fight Errol Spence Jr., he should have got the fight. Spence didn't want to give him that fight. I don't know why. It is what it is. Maybe he was just really adamant about fighting Terrence Crawford. Has he earned his shot? Yes, he has earned his shot, man. Jerron has earned his shot at 147. But are they going to give it to him? No. No. So you got to do the next best thing, bro. Fight Tim Zoo, fam. Fight Tim Zoo, bro. Y'all two duke it out. It's going to be a big payday for both of y'all. And the best man going to win on the night, bro. It is what it is, man. This is RTH Podcast. I'm your host, Nephew, and I'm signing out. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this particular video. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If I'm right, I'm right. Y'all know how I get down. This is RTH Podcast. Your host, Nephew, and I'll sign. Hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, I can't go just yet. Because here's the thing. Who do y'all think going to win this fight? <laughs> Who y'all think will win this showdown if it were to go down between Tim Zoo 
and Jerron Ennis. Leave that in the comment section below as well. Now, this is the RTH Podcast. I'm your host, Nephew, and I'm signing out. Y'all take it easy, bruh. Peace. RTH Podcast going live, man, with Brawl Night Champions for members only. Party chat debate for a shot at the Community Board Champion. But remember, it's a fight, so don't get knocked out and lose your place in the ranks. Or if you're just here to be a part of the spectacle, that's cool too. Sign up for the first tier to get front row seats to each event and get exclusive content not seen on YouTube. No my tier, but don't get kicked out. See rule books for more details. Oh yeah, ladies and the legends are included if you want to spectate or go for some gold. Brawl Night Champions, sign up now.